Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool A Week Guy. If you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So what is it that we're going to be taking a look at this week? Well, first of all, guys, don't forget we're going to be giving away our Dax hard hat safety hat right here. And that's going to be once we reach 1,500 subscribers. So go ahead and leave your comments below and also uh, go ahead and share and like my videos that way you could go ahead and win the hard hat so with that being said guys we're gonna get back to our building a tool bag segment and what is it that we're gonna be adding this week well if you ask me there always always a need to see temperatures now it depends on what you're doing what trade you're in if you're in HVAC plumbing electricity uh, vice versa there is always a need to take a look at different temperatures so we're going to be adding an infrared gun. So that infrared gun is going to be the Milwaukee 2278-20 M12 infra infrared gun right here. So this is going to be the temperature gun right here. It's going to be a very neat gun. Let's go ahead and open it up. As you can tell, I had already cut it up. And let's pull it out. So what comes included? Of course, this is just a t the gun right here and you're gonna get some instructions in the back and just some quick pamphlets so let's go ahead and throw that stuff to the side so of course guys it's gonna be made by Milwaukee um, I really am not a preference guy but all of my tools are Milwaukee so I go ahead and just purchase more Milwaukee just because it's part of the Milwaukee family so neat features about this is going to be that it's gonna be an infrared gun of course it's gonna have a nice LED display it's going to have weigh in about 9.6 ounces without a battery which is pretty light and it's going to be about seven and a quarter inches long with no batteries also so of course like i mentioned it's going to be part of the m12 family right here so any m12 is going to fit it so if it's going to be the xc the 2.0 um whatever the case is let's go ahead and add the 2.0 battery and they also have xc depending on how far I myself do not like batteries guys some people do like batteries they carry double A's triple A's whatever the case is I just hate carrying multiple batteries that you have to dispose these on the other hand I always have them charged up I always have them in hand I always have them in my toolbox or tool truck so of course you could go ahead and press it and you're gonna have a nice LCD display right there now another great feature about it, it's going to be full bumped, bump nose plastic molded all around and it withstands up to 6 feet of drop which I still would try not to drop it but in case you do happen to drop it, it withstands up to 6 feet of drop which is pretty neat guys. Most infrared guns if you haven't used them, they're real sensitive, plastic, real brittle, you drop it, it's going to end up breaking. Now, like I said, the LCD display right here is going to be inch and a quarter by inch and three eighths wide and long. And it's going to light up, of course, in the background. So let me go ahead and press it. And as you can see, it's going to light up. It's going to give you a great temperature display right there, which is very nice and very close of um, settings right here, which is real convenient just to touch them and have them. Now, of course, it's going to be measuring surface temperature, guys, and those ranges are going to be from negative 22 Fahrenheit to 1022 Fahrenheit. Now, it is going to be also a 12 by 1 distance to spot ratio. Now, what does that mean? So for every 12 feet you go up, you're going to be you're going to be measuring a temperature spot or circle about one foot. So if you're at if you're going to be at 24 feet then you're looking at a larger diameter area which is going to be two feet of a round so the closer you are the better temperature you're going to get and less surface more accurate now of course you do have a laser guiding as you can see right here you can barely see it the laser guides it it is not the actual temperature reading with the laser it just shows you where you're aiming as you can tell there's two holes right here one's your laser and one is going to be your temperature sensor right here so that's a little accuracy is going to be plus or minus 1.8 percent which isn't too bad so a lot of people are asking what is it they use a a 
temperature gun for or a infrared gun well it's multiple uses if you're going to be an hvac more than likely you're getting your return supply and your you're getting your supply and your return air duct differentials or deltas which if you don't know what delta is that's just a differential of of whatever temperature whatever you're measuring it's just a difference so if you, if you want to sound a little more sophisticated go ahead and use delta instead of just using differential so that's a little keynote right there now of course you're get, you're measuring your supply and your return air if you're going to be in plumbing you're probably measuring temperatures of water uh, you have mixing valves you don't want anybody to get burned scold uh, you want to set them about 110 to 115 degree water as per commercial um, if you're going to be an electrician then you're probably measuring the heat of your motor if they're heating up or not that's just a little quick review of why you would be using a thermometer gun or a temperature gun infrared gun whatever you choose to call it so a couple of these settings are going to be and the gun is going to be you're going to have a minimal settings or minus settings which re re reads your lowest settings and you're going to have a max setting which reads your max settings you're going to have an average which averages out all your about 20 different uh, readings you take and you're going to have a differential or delta setting also you're going to have a trigger lock so if you choose to just instead of holding it the whole time you could just lock it where it just holds on to it which you could go to your settings you also could turn off the laser that way you don't need no guidance use the batteries which I doubt it uses up that much and also you're going to have a high and low alarm of course your buttons are going to be your settings right here which are quick access and it's a really really ergonomical handle right on the Milwaukee now if you're looking for the price on this baby you're looking about hundred and forty four dollars guys so that's going to be the tool that we're going to be adding this week guys if you have any other questions or any other temperature guns or infrared guns whatever you choose to call them go ahead and leave your comments below that way you can let me know what which one you yourself uses and for what purpose so as always guys thanks for watching one tool a week guy